In the next series of videos, we will cover section 10.2, graph terminology and special types of graphs. So just like the previous section, some of the information presented in this section are, is fairly straightforward, and so you will be required to do some reading on your own, but there are some concepts that are a li little bit more complicated, and so in the, those cases, um, the video will be more complete. Okay, so by the end of this section, you should be able to use something called the handshaking theorem to determine the number of edges in a graph or determine whether a graph exists with a given number of vertices of specified degree. You should also be able to draw various graphs, the complete graph denoted by k sub n, where n is the number of vertices of that graph, cycles c sub n, wheels w sub n, n cubes q sub n, and complete bipartite graphs k sub m n. And we will look more specifically at complete bipartite graphs and understand why there are two subscripts um, in this notation. You'll also be able to determine when a, whether a graph is bipartite, and you'll also be able to use bipartite graphs to model various applications. Okay, so we'll look at the basic terminology that we need for this video, and you will be required to do some reading and some examples on your own. So we say that two vertices in an undirected graph G are adjacent if there is an edge between them, and the edge between them is said to be incident with these two vertices, or said to connect these two vertices. The degree of a vertex in an undirected graph is simply the number of edges incident with that vertex. And a loop which is incident with that vertex in two different cases, both ends of that, vert of that edge are incident with the vertex, then it is counted twice within the degree, and we use deg brackets v to denote the degree of that vertex. We also define the neighborhood of a partic particular vertex, and you will be able to demonstrate your understanding of this terminology following this example. So please read this through the notes posted on Moodle. Okay, so now we get to the handshaking theorem, which states the following. So if G is a graph with set of vertices denoted by capital V and set of edge edges denoted by capital E, and moreover, this is an undirected graph with exactly m many edges, then we know that the sum of the degrees of all of the vertices is equal to 2 times n, or twice the number of edges. And the reason for this is simply because each edge must be incident with two different vertices. Whether it is a loop or not, it's going to be incident with two vertices, whether they're different or the same. Nonetheless, each edge is going to be counted twice when we sum the degrees of all of the vertices. And so this, is, this explains why the degrees of all the vertices sum to two times the number of edges, because each edge is counted twice in the sum of the degrees of the vertices. Okay, so how do we apply this handshaking theorem and why is it important? So we're gonna give two different examples. So example one, how many edges are there in a graph with 10 vertices of degree six? So since we know that there are 10 vertices in our graph, each of degree six, we can determine the sum of the degrees of all of these vertices, and that is simply equal to the total number of vertices multiplied by their degree. So 10 times 6 gives us 60. So this is the sum of the degrees of all of the vertices. And since we know that the, the sum of the degrees of all of the vertices is equal to 2 times the number of edges, we get the following equation. 2m is equal to 60, which tells us that m is equal to 30, or the number of edges is equal to 30. So that's a simple application of the handshaking theorem. Second example says, if, if a graph has five vertices, can each vertex have degree three? So, if we had a graph with five vertices, each of degree three, then the sum of the degrees of all of these vertices would simply be equal to three times five, which is equal to 15. But 15 is an odd number, and we know that the sum of the degrees of all the vertices is equal to 2 times the number of edges. Thus, the sum of the degrees of all of the vertices must actually be an even number. So since 15 is not 
an even number, it can't be written as two times some other integer, then we know that this graph is not possible. Okay, so that gives you an idea about how the handshaking theorem can be used to, to give us characteristics or determine whether certain graphs exist. There are further slides within this presentation after the handshaking theorem which relates this kind of notion to directed graphs, so you're invited to read those slides on your own. Um, and next we're going to look at different types of graphs.